Pete would actually call it spiraling. Okay. So yep. he would say the hands kind of spiral up to the top yep. and then they spiral back down under you. Yeah. So my pattern of movement, so I would, you know, and I can hit good shots with maybe not the perfect pattern, but <laughs> when the timing's not quite there, then, you know, we get a little bit of a miss. Lifetime of golf will do Absolutely, that. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so um, getting away from working my left arm too low and across my chest in the sort of first bit of the backswing. Okay. Um, the kind of the arm would sit in the wrong place and the shaft would then be a little bit too much this way. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the compensation then. I'd kind of send the hand a little out and the, to, to keep the sweet spot back, but then in delivery, it's a bit too much like this, basically. Yeah, yeah. So just set up to that ball again for me. So what we do see a lot of players work on, right, is just in this first section is they get this obsession of trying to really keep the handle close. But what we do see a lot of players do is then they pin that lead arm, right? Yep. So then as you continue to keep rotating, what the amateur golf will then do is we'll get into this position where this trail arm doesn't really feel engaged at all, does it? No, You've got awful. no room, you look awful. tight, you look tense. Awful. And then if you have any sort of rotation out towards the ball, the handle's gonna get thrown out. Then we're gonna start casting, stalling out, scooping, flipping, all sorts. and everything. So yeah. if you set up to the ball for me, so the feeling that you're getting, you said that kind of feels like you're keeping the hands a little bit more in front so, of the chest in the backswing. Yes, so it's kind of like the hands work more in that direction okay. so they'd be more it, it almost feel again feels to me i always remember that it feels to me like my my hand or my left arm is working more up early yeah and it's staying a little bit more in front of me yeah get the shaft in a better alignment yeah um and then I, the, the whole point of it is so when i get to the top and i'm in this better structure i can then obviously yeah we want the sweet spot staying behind but then it works back down yeah and in front here exactly so what we yep. see with a lot of players is probably one of the biggest causes for inconsistency, right? Is when essentially the hands don't stay in front of the chest. Now, we look at every high level professional golfer, they will start with their hands in front of the chest at address, and then they would get them back there at impact to a degree. And what we do see with a lot of players is they will either be pulling the handle around their body, their chest won't turn, so eventually their arm structure breaks down. But at the end of the day, if you see where my chest is pointing mm. straight forward, you see how the hands have gone a long way past. Now, yourself being a tour player, yours isn't as severe and you can compensate like you said and you can still hit good shots, but under pressure and so on and so forth, it just requires unnecessary compensations yeah. and such. So regardless of the skill level that you're at, getting the feeling by this stage of the swing, like you said, of keeping the hands a little bit more in front of your chest. Now, you said it felt like they were almost going up more. Yes. Yeah. Now, Kind of a great reference for this is if we're standing straight up in front of the, the camera here like this and our body is vertical if i just pivot my chest back towards the camera and then tilt down we can see that the hands would be in front of the chest and for a lot of players if they saw that from the down the line view they would go you know what that kind of looks like a good takeaway mm. and what you were saying is that you were kind of getting into this position where the lead arm was too pinned and yep. you can see it's too tight if i then stand up well if we were playing any sort of sport, we're going to play tennis with two hands, baseball, that doesn't really look powerful at all, does it? <laughs> no. Not at all. So it's funny when you kind of shift plane, how that changes the whole appearance of that golf swing movement. Absolutely. Now, I saw you the other day and you were working on a drill where your hands were kind of palmed down facing the ground like this. Yep. I want you to jump in, I want you yeah. to talk about that for me. Of course. Yes, yeah, so for this drill, it's a good Pete Cowan drill really. Mm -hmm. um, so again, into golf posture, palms, facing down as if you're pushing the ground. Yep. And then the whole point of this, you can join your thumbs together, make like a like a butterfly. Okay, So it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> so as you take it back, like you, like you just demonstrated there, if I kept my arms with, match with my chest yep. and rotated, my, my golf swing would look like this. Yeah. Okay, and we know that that's not what a golf swing Correct. is, how it's gonna function. Yeah. So the actual movement through, and I feel it more through shoulders, yeah. is it's kind of like you've, the hands have to load up in this direction yeah. and I'm doing it through my shoulders. Again, I think some people would start misinterpreting that and, and start doing something with forearms. So mm -hmm. again, palms down, work it up, get into this good structure at the top. And then like you just demoed there, you can then work it back down underneath your chest at impact. Yeah. As opposed to, you know, you won't be there and you won't come in like this. Pete would actually call it spiraling. Okay. So yep. he would say the hands kind of spiral up to the top yep. and then they spiral back down under you. So as we're just using that as a reference, right? Yep. What you did do there 
is if your uh, hands stay in front of your shoulders as such, so an extension like this out yep. in front, and then if I just pivot my body back, we can still see from this angle that they are in front of our shoulders. Now, what a lot of players do, be it trying to stay connected or so on and so forth, yep. is they really kind of hug these upper, these upper arms around the kind of like the lower tricep there onto their body too much and all gets really, really tight and tense mm. and they think they have this connected feel. But the professional golfer, they have an element of this sort of arm lift, don't yes. they? Yes, yep. Now, let's look at the variations of that. If you set up to that golf ball for me. Now, we may see professional golfers as you turn and pivot to the top, turn, 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 where the lead arm gets really low, let's say yep. someone like a Cooch, or if it gets really high, which would be someone more like a JT. Yep. But at the end of the day, what all these professional golfers are really good is that as they get down to the transition into this uh, club shaft parallel to the ground position, yep. we would see that their hands would be back in front of their chest. Now, for most amateur golfers, what they try and do, let's say they want to go, I want to swing more like JT or Cooch or something yep. like that. They use their arms too much. They just pull it around their mm. body in all these different fashions. Whereas essentially what happens within reason is the chest would control that movement. The arms are staying at an effect to that with a slight lifting due to the tilt of our pelvis at address. So the arms are naturally going to lift on a plane. Yep. We don't want to keep them really low. Enough. No, no. Yeah. So you're feeling when you're working on this set up again for me. And you're going to recreate that sensation of the hand staying kind of in front of the chest. And you just said just a slight feeling of this kind of lead arm lifting there. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Let's do that again for me. Perfect. Now, what would your reference be? Are you filming it? Are you using training aids? Yeah. So I'll film. I'll film it. Mm. Um, trying to get the, you know, again looking at a little bit of shaft pitch there. Okay. So it's it's not too much here. Yep. And also referencing probably hands relative to body. Mm -hmm. So as long as they don't get sort of behind right side of chest yeah. um, you know, and, and also a little bit from sort of you know from face on mm -hmm. the left arm not staying too much under the right for too long yeah yeah that's that's a great reference actually so uh, I want to talk about two things there set up to the ball again for me the first of which is what you described about the pitch of the shaft yeah now we see a lot of players with very, very steep backswings, as in the angle of the shaft as they take it away from pulling the handle in and around, and then it gets into this position. Now, let's say that looks someone like more like a Matt Wolf, well, then they would have to make this big compensation. He's a thoroughbred, he can get it done. Yep. Your average 26 handicapper who's stepping up to the first tee after a million beers is not gonna be able to do that, <laughs> right? Now, so as you're swinging back, the opposite to that, if the arms weren't pulling in and around, would be out and then you would see players who get too flat. Yeah. So as a general reference, what you did really well there is you were demonstrating that as the golf club got back to, let's say, um, lead arm level with the ground, yeah. that the pitch of the shaft here was somewhat at ball line. Anywhere yes. we generally like to see at ball line or slightly in is pretty functional. Yeah. But you had the tendency of getting too deep like that. Yes. Correct, okay. Yes. Now, the second part that you were just talking about was just in regards to the lead arm not staying too low underneath the trail arm for too long. Is that what you said there? Yeah. Yeah, great. So set up to the ground there. So from this angle here, as you swing yep. that golf club back, if this arm starts to move into a position by the time that the lead arm is level with the ground, so keep pivoting your body, we can see that this is somewhat level here. Now what Jay is saying is that if he gets it into this position, well now all of a sudden, that right arm is way too much on top, isn't it? Yeah. And that there, feels tight, feels tense, now all of a sudden we can see that that pitch of the shaft is then too steep straight away, isn't it? Absolutely. Perfect. So run me through your little feel there, dude. And again, you know when you said about reference point, sort mm. of from, from my visual perspective as I'm stood here, as I work this back, it almost feels like the from my shoulder to my hand, it feels to me like it's more in one line. Great, fantastic. That's rather than, you know, too as, deep. as a little visual. So works up in this fashion. And again, helps me get it back down into this sort of delivery position. Okay, great. Let's see it. Look pretty in line right there. That was pretty good. All right, nice one. Nice one, buddy. Cool.